Welcome back to the rental department at Van Walt Limited in Wanaka. Today we're going to have a look at the advanced peristaltic pump. We'll start by looking at basic operation. There's your on button and speed up and speed down. full throttle and we can reverse if we need to, wind it back down and there's your basic operation. Okay, there's two memory functions on the machine, memory A and memory B. To program the memory functions I'm going to hold down memory A I'm going to turn the pump on and wait for at least three seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now I'm going to dial my pump up. If we want, we can change the direction as well. And then when we're happy, turn the pump back off again. And now our memory is preset and to access that memory we're going to hold the memory button down again and this time we're going to wait we're going to wait between 0 and 3 seconds okay pump on 1 2 and there we have it there's our memory set we also have the possibility of using an external battery And there we are. And you can plug that into your cigarette lighter in the car. Another useful function on this pump is the possibility of an external pump. Here's a little disposable pump we can use. We can connect this up. And now we can take advantage of our variable speed control. External pump. Okay. Very handy if you want to purge a well. Taking a look at the pump head, we'll just have a quick look at maintenance. Check that these screws are all nice and smooth and easy to undo. Here's your tube clamp. There's a couple of marks at the top here just to show which way this clamp goes, goes on. clamp is actually very slightly tapered and so it's important to orientate that correctly. We'll move the face plate for a moment and we just want to check that the pump head is moving freely and that these rollers are rolling freely as well. Okay. These are the two silicon tubes we supply. The thinner tubing here, this is 4 by 8 millimeter and this is 6 by 10 millimeter. The 6 by 10 obviously will give you a higher flow rate, but you'll only get down to 5.5 meters of water head. The thinner tubing, slightly lower flow rate, but that will go down to 9.5 meters. To load the pump, we need a short amount of silicon tubing 
that should be enough. We can turn the pump on. We can dial the speed up a bit. And there we are. There's your tube loaded. Now we can wind down the tube clamp. And we're good to go. Alternatively, we can load the pump up by taking the tube clamp and the guard off. And we can just do this manually. There we go. And then we can just put our clamp and the guard back on.